What is up beautiful people? It's your girl Cam and I am back with another video. Today I'm coming at you with something a little bit different, something that I haven't done on this channel in quite a while. I'm going to be creating a reading journal spread in my planner for this book. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I went to Savannah, Georgia for my birthday with my husband. And we went to this bookstore because I, I love books and I love bookstores. And I found out about a bookstore called Books on Bay, which is a bookstore on Bay Street right there on the riverfront, um, by the riverfront. And I we went by there and I didn't see a whole lot of books that I was interested in reading, but this one stood out to me. And this one is called Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. It is a nonfiction book. Uh, about a murder that took place in Savannah, Georgia. And I watched the movie back in the day, but I don't remember a whole bunch of the details. And from my experience, books are usually much, much better than the movies anyway. <laughs> so I wanted to revisit this story. And in doing that, I wanted to create a reading journal spread to go into my planner. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And I've kind of got the book turned at an odd angle because it does have this library cover on it. This was a vintage bookstore that I went to and it does have this library binding on it. And I don't want the glare to completely blow you away. So that's why I'm holding the book at this angle. But I'm going to be putting together a spread that's going to help me journal uh, what I'm reading in this book. There are lots of good uh, nuggets and facts about Savannah in this uh, book. And if you don't know, I am a super history buff. So all of that is very um, intriguing to me. So I'm going to set up a reading journal spread in my planner. And if you would like to see how I do that, then just stay right there. So I went through my wrong, wrong uh, sticker books and I found several stickers that um, include uh, girls reading. Um, so I, that's what I'm going to use. I have this one sticker of a girl in a library surrounded by books here. I've got this girl up here. She's from the self-care sticker book, self-love sticker book. And her shirt says, I'd rather be reading. This girl is sitting next to a stack of books. I actually took this little stack of books off of a bigger sticker of her, but it's included with this image. So I kept being drawn to this sticker that said start somewhere. So I'm just going to use it because I kept coming back to it when I was flipping through all of my books. It just kept standing out at me. There's a picture of a girl here reading in bed. And then these two girls come from Black Girl Magic. And I may use them if I need a little bit more um, decoration on the page as well. And here's a little tablet. I know some people like to read on a tablet. I personally prefer paper books, but this is a representation of reading things, right? Or like an audio book. You could even use that as a representation of an audio book as well. Um, there's a girl here who's journaling. And so I'm going to be journaling about the books. So I thought that might be appropriate to use as well. So this is what I gathered. And let me pull my page out and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so let's get started here. I think I'm going to use um, some pink boxes from Live Love Posh, the Functionally Chic Pink Blooms book. This was part of her Rainbow Edit um, box collection. I think I've got enough pink stickers left in here that I should be able to make a nice spread. So um, I'm thinking about what I want to document in here. And I know I want to document some facts um, about Savannah. And I also want to document some good quotes that I read. So um, let's just kind of get into it and see what we come up with. So at the top of the page, I think I want to put a header that's going to say um, reading journal 
and I think I'm going to list the name of the book up here as well. Up at the top. So I guess we should start there. And let's see, I think I want to add this sticker of the girl that says, I'd rather be reading. I think I'd like to put her up here at the top. And got more space over here, so maybe I'll also include this sticker of the girl who's reading in bed. Maybe we'll include that too up across the top. Okay, that's looking good to me so far. So I'll write reading journal, I'll write the name of the book and the author, and then I want to write down the day I started reading the book and the day I finished. <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting because it normally only takes me a few days to read a book, but life has been so busy lately that I, I just haven't been reading like that. I just have not been reading like that. So we'll put the day that I started and the day that I finished. Let me see how centered or not this is so far. Okay, I'm not mad at it. All right, now I want to document some facts, some quotes, and then some notes. So I think um, for facts, I think I'll use two different shades of pink. And we'll make this a long section. And this is things like um, facts I'm learning about the city of Savannah. That's kind of what I'm interested in putting here. Because like I said, this is a um, nonfiction book. Let me see if I want to put some more spaces for facts in here. Yeah, I think I like this. Okay, yeah, let's layer it up. Kind of wing in this. I mean, I kind of had a little bit of a plan, but not too much. So, let me layer this, these boxes on top of each other. All right, I like that. And then I'll put a header over here that says facts. Okay, so facts is going to go here and we'll put lots of different facts in these boxes. All right, then I'm going to put quotes on this side. And for quotes, I think I want to use, I think I've got a few of these. So let's see if we turn them horizontal if we can get a few quotes in here. And I'm just going to do maybe space for three quotes. So I'll put one there. And here's another sheet. I have really been going through this pink book. Though. Okay. Then we'll put Another quote here. And let me put in my notes section before I run out of room. Okay, then we're going to put notes here. Line it up. 
This is dot grid paper that I'm using and it is working out nice to help me line things up. Okay, so we'll put notes here and we'll put notes here as well so I'm just gonna put two of my favorite quotes I'm gonna put two of my favorite quotes here notes and notes here I think that's what I'm gonna do all right now let me see let me add my headers Here that says quotes. And then I'll add a header here that says notes. All right, and then let's see if we need to decorate any other spaces. I think it's looking pretty good so far, actually. But let's see what I can add. So I've got this sticker that can easily go here. And I've got this little stack of books and I just need to cut this little excess piece off. So let me grab my scissors. Pouch. This has been coming in handy. You just cut the excess off of this sticker. I actually pulled this off of another version of the same doll. So, out of the um, self love sticker book. So, let's put the stack of books right here that looks really cute okay and then um, I think I'm going to put start somewhere will that fit in here Well, but I may have to move this sticker up just a little bit. I think it'll fit if we just go up maybe one line. get start somewhere in here. Ooh, let me go down some. Make sure that's straight. Yeah, pretty straight. Okay, good. I like that. And I think I want to add this girl taking notes so I think I might put that here in this corner you see that sorry I think I was out of frame I'm gonna put that girl that um, has the journal out right there in that little bottom corner and I've also got the sticker of like a tablet which I might put maybe here just to make sure it's not going to interfere with the 
little mushrooms over here. I think it's going over just a bit and I can just cut into that. I think I can. All right, I think that works. So let me make sure I don't want to add anything else. Got these little stickers that say read and unplug. And I like that for this section. So I'm going to put these in here. Unplug on this side. I think I'm going to put read on this side. I think this is looking very, very cute. So let me get my pen and let me um, write down the, um, the name of the book and the author, the day I started. And I'll write down the day I finished, when I actually finish it. And then I'm going to write down my headers. This is going to be uh, facts, quotes, and notes. And I think we'll be done. It's just pretty simple, right? Pretty simple and to the point. Let me get my pen out. through my pink book and see which flowers are speaking to me with this spread. That was kind of good because it also had some lavender. Let's see if I've got more of those. Now oh, this is cute. That could work, and some of these flowers are pretty small, but they also look like they have like Christmas hollies on them. Christmas bit. Mm -mm, I don't think I want to use that. <laughs> Hold up. Okay, I think it's going to be these. Yeah, let's go with these. Maybe in the very front. <laughs> Okay, let's do this. Let's add these flowers over here on this side. there which I like and we'll just cut the little excess off and let's see what else we've got let's put this skinny one Here. 
Gonna get a little nice, nice, nice. And let's put um, a little bit of floral across the bottom here and just a little bit more in that spot right there. Just a teeny tiny bit right there. Let's see what we got that can go in there. this flower but I think it's too big compared to these little small ones next to it so I'm not going to put that there I'm going to pick that up and put it I'm going to pick it up and put it down right here and I'll put this one down this was the other part that I cut off I'll put that down there. I'm going to keep looking for some small flowers to go up here. So I've got this one. This little tiny one. Maybe I can cut it in half and use both pieces of it. And I've even got another little extra piece of leaf. Leaf another sticker so let's hook this up here we go I'm gonna put this smaller flower right here other piece of it it's gonna go right here little leaf is gonna come down right here oh so cute and let me just cut off any little excess That looks cute. Now I feel like I need some flowers in here and right there. And here's what I'm going to do. I've got this big flower. I don't need all of this. I think I'm just going to cut this little piece off right here and use it in that little space. I just have this little tiny space that needs a little bit of jazzing up. I could totally leave this like it is. I just I just like it to be super pretty. Picking up these extra little pieces of sticker that I stuck to my scissors. Let's see if I can make this look halfway decent when I cut it off. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Now let's try it. Okay, so far that looks good. Now let's see what I can do with these leaves. Got quite a few on here, but I think I'm just going to take this middle one. And I'm going to save these other pieces to see if I need them elsewhere. Upside down. I think I'm here for it y'all. I think I am definitely here for it. And I'm just going to add this little piece of greenery 
and one little empty spot on the right and then I think we're going to be done. Yes. Okay, now I feel really good about how this looks. All right, this is working for me. I think this is going to be super cute in my planner. This is my reading journal for Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. And I'm going to write the start date and the date I finished here. I'm going to write some facts that I'm learning about Savannah in this section over here. I'm going to write two very good quotes. If I've got room for more than one quote, I'll write it. But I think it's going to be two quotes that I really love in here. And then I'm going to take a few notes here at the bottom as well. And if by chance I feel like I need more space, I can always add another page to this um, spread. I think I've shown you before that you can just take another piece of paper. Let me see if I have one sitting by. If I decided I wanted to add more pages to this, I could just take some washi tape and attach these two pages right here down the center and then just cut this spine off and maybe cut a little bit more than the spine off and it would become a little folding um, insert in my planner if I decided I wanted to add more notes. Okay, but I think for now this is going to be good. This is a good way for me to document what I'm reading and uh, be able to look back on it and reflect on this book in the future. So let me go ahead and pop it back in the planner and we're going to wrap up. Y'all, this is in the July section of my planner because I actually started reading this book in July. Um, the month of July is pretty much over, but I just want to leave it here because this is when I started reading it. And I will come back and take my notes here and write when I actually finish the book. Okay, and it, it normally it normally doesn't take me that long to read a book. I can normally read a book in a few days, but um, you know, life changes, things happen. I don't always have a lot of time to read, so I'm not going to pressure myself about trying to read it in a, in a couple of days. I'm going to read it um, when I can. And hopefully I'll finish it by the end of July and I'll be able to put my notes and things in here. So I hope that this gave you some ideas of maybe a way that you can document your reading in the planner that you are currently using. I used to document these types of things on a separate planner. And who, who knows, I may go back to doing that. But for this month and for this particular book, I wanted to do it this way and just add an insert into the planner I'm already using. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell as well so you won't miss out on any of the fun I've got planned for you in the next few weeks right here on this channel. I hope that you're all having a great week. I hope that if you are an avid reader that you are finding time to read good books, nonfiction, fiction books, um, self-help books, spiritual books, whatever is working for you right now. I hope that you are carving out some time to read. All of that is part of self-care and self-improvement, right? Okay, have a great week. I hope it's full of love, joy, and most of all, peace. See you next time.